hello friends welcome to another video in this video we are going to do a market analysis on forex commodity indices and uh, crypto markets and in forex we will talk about the major forex pairs which are all the usd new zealand usd euro usd gbp usd usd cad and usd jpy in commodity we will talk about natural gas crude oil silver and the gold in uh, indices we will talk about s p 500 and us 30 and in crypto we will talk about uh, bitcoin and uh, ethereum so without wasting any time let's get started first of all we are going to start with the Aussie usd as we can see the price is making lower lows and lower highs so it's in a downtrend also the price is moving in a down channel starting from here we have the low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high and now the price broke and close below the previous low so what are we expecting in this market now we can expect the price to pull back into the recent broken zone and give us any kind of indications to go short because the price is already in a uh, already in a downtrend and moving in the down channel so this is a strong resistance zone as it has been retested multiple times and uh, this upper trend line of this channel is also going to act as a resistance here and as we can see 20 ema is already below 50 blue line is the 20 ema 50 line is the uh, red line is the 50 ema and uh, so 20 ema below 50 indicates as the price is in a downtrend so if we check the strength of this particular zone we can see it has been retested multiple times let's count how many times it has been retested it's a one two three and uh, four five six seven eight so we can see the price has been retested multiple times in this zone so it's a very strong zone and uh, considering all these factors we uh, do consider this zone as a high potential zone to look for any kind of indications to go short next we are going to talk about new zealand usd new zealand usd again as we can see the price is in a downtrend making lower lows and lower highs starting from here we have the low lower high lower low lower high lower low same high and now the price broken close below the previous low so price is in a downtrend consistently making lower lows and lower highs so right now we are expecting price to make a pullback into the recent broken zone and give us some kind of indications to go short now if we talk about this particular zone we can see this trend line already acting as a resistance uh, like this trend line already acted as a resistance in the past one time two time three time so if the price pull back again into this zone then this trend line might act as a resistance again also you can see 20 ema is already below 50 so that's another confluence to look for a short opportunity and if we check the strength of this particular zone then we can see it has been retested multiple times so which make it a very strong zone let's count how many times it has been retested one two three three four five six and seven so yes the zone have been retested multiple times which make it a very strong zone and if we try to check the Fibonacci retracement from the swing high to the swing low if we consider this as a swing low we can see it is like more than 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement zone as well which like uh, give us another indications or another reason to to show this market so considering all these factors we we see this zone as a high potential zone to look for short opportunities next we are going to talk about euro usd euro usd as we can see price consistently making lower lows and lower highs so it's in a downtrend starting from here we have the low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high and now the price broken through lows below the previous low so right now the price is here what we can expect now in this home market if the price push back a bit lower and then give us any kind of pullback into the recent broken zone then definitely we can look for any kind of indications to go short because this is a strong support zone which has been broken by the price and now it's going to act as a resistance 
it has been retested multiple times in the past so it's that makes it a very strong zone let's count how many times it has been retested one two and three four five five and six seven eight so this zone has been retested multiple times in the past which make it a very strong zone and as we can also see the 20 ema is already below 50 that gives us another reason to look for short opportunity and so considering all all these things and factors we do consider this as a high probable zone to look for short opportunity so next we are going to talk about gbpusd a GBPUSD again, as we can see, price is consistently making low lows and lower highs. Starting from here, we have the low, lower high, lower low, same high, and right now the price here. So what we expect in this market now, as we can see, price is in a down channel as well, and uh, consistently making lower lows and lower highs. So because the price is in a downtrend, so we are expecting price to break this support zone and give us a lower low. And then we can wait for any kind of pullback into this recent broken zone to to go short. Now, if we, if we consider the strength of this particular zone, then we can see it has been retested multiple times, which make it a very strong zone. Let's see how many times it has been retested in the past. So one, two, three, and uh, four, five, six. So the zone have been retested multiple times which make it a very strong zone and we can see 20 ema is already below 50 so that's another confluence to go short now, now next we will talk about usd cad usd cad as we can see price is in an uptrend as consistently making higher highs and higher lows starting from here we have the high higher low higher high higher low and right now the price broken close above the previous high so price is in an uptrend what we are expecting in this market right now as the price has already broken above broken and close above the previous high so we will expect uh, like expect price to close a bit higher and then give us a pullback into the recent broken zone to look for any kind of indications or rejections in the zone to the upside to go long we can also see 20 ema is already above 50 so that's another indication to to go long in this market because if 20 ema is above 50 that indicates that the market is in an uptrend and uh, if we check the strength of this particular zone as we can see it has been retested multiple times which may which makes it a very strong zone let's count how many times it has been retested one two three four five five and six seven eight so we can see zone has been retested multiple times in the past so it's a very strong zone to look for any kind of long opportunity in this market next we are going to talk about usd jpy usd jpy as we can see price is making lower lows so time from here we have low low high lower low same high lower low same high and right now the price is here between this high and this low so what are we expecting in this market right now if the price break and close above the series of all these highs then we can wait for a pullback into the broken zone to look for any kind of induction uh, like indication or rejections to the upside to go long or we can also wait for the price to break and close above these lows or the support to give us a low and then we can wait for a pullback into the recent broken zone to get any kind of indications or rejections to the down, downside to go short. Now, if we check the strength of these two zones, we can see these zones have been retested multiple times. So these are very strong zones. First of all, let's check how many times this zone has been retested in the past. It uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can see it's a six times already retested, and then seven and eight, nine. So this zone has been retested multiple times. Now let's check about this zone as well. So one, two, three, four, five, and uh, we have six, seven, eight. So both zones have been retested multiple times, which uh, make 
them a very strong zone to look for uh, short and long trades. Next, we are going to talk about uh, commodities. And first of all, we are going to start with the natural gas. As you can see, price is in an uptrend as consistently making higher highs and higher lows. Starting from here, we are going, we, we see, we can see high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. And right now, the price pulled back into the recent broken zone. So what do we expect in this market now? As we can see, price already made a bounce in this zone here. So if you are already in the trade, that's fine. Otherwise, if you find another pullback into this zone and indications or rejections to the upside to go long, then you can go long. Otherwise, you can also wait for the price to pull back into this previous low and look for any indications to go long. So these are the two possible scenarios that we see in this market at the moment. And if we check the strength of these two zones, these have been retested multiple times in the past, which make them very strong. Let's check how many times these zones have been retested in the past. If we talk, if we check about this particular zone, it's retested one, and uh, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this zone has been retested numerous times. If we check this particular zone, it's a one, two, 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 three, four, then we have five, six, and then we case seven, eight. So this zone also has been retested uh, multiple times which uh, make this zone uh, like strong as well to look for uh, long opportunities in this market next we are going to talk about us oil in us oil as we can see price is consistently making lower lows and lower highs so it's in a downturn also the price is moving in a down channel starting from here we can see low lower high lower low lower high and now price broke and close below the previous low. So what we are expecting in this market now? Now we are expecting the price to pull back higher into this recent broken zone and give us any kind of indications or rejection to the downside to go short. If we check the strength of this particular zone, it's a very strong zone as it has been retested multiple times in the past. Now let's count how many times it has been retested. One, two. Three, four, five, six, six, and then seven, and then eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this zone has been retested multiple times. It's a very strong zone to look for a short opportunity in this market. Also, we can see 20 EMA is already below 50. That's give us another reason to look for short opportunity. So considering all these factors, we are consider this zone as a high probable zone, high potential zone to look for short opportunity. Next, we are going to talk about silver. Silver, the price is in a downtrend, has consistently making lower lows and lower highs. Also, the price is moving in a down channel. So as we can see from here, we have the low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then price pulled back into the broken zone and right now it's here. So if we see what is the possible scenario now, what are the possible trading setup that we can see in this market, then I would like the price to break and close below this strong support zone and then give us any kind of pullback into the broken zone to go short. Now this is a possible scenario on the silver. Next we are going to talk about the gold. Gold again the price is in a downtrend as making lower lows and lower highs. Starting from here, we have the low, lower, high, lower low, then price broke and closed over the previous high, made this double top, and now the price broke and closed above, uh, closed, broke and closed below the neckline of the double top and this low as well. And right now, price already pulled back into the neckline of this double top. So what are we expecting in this market now? I have the price already in the, uh, into the, broken zone so if you find any kind of opportunities on the one hour four hour the daily you can go short 
otherwise you can also wait for the price to pull back higher into the previous high and look for any kind of rejections to the downside to go short if we talk about uh, this particular zone it's a high potential zone to look for a uh, short opportunity as we can see the moving averages are already acting as resistance to the price also we have this upper trend line which already acted as resistance in the past so this is also acting as a resistance again to the price and we already have this strong resistance zone which has been retested multiple times so considering all these strong resistances in the same zone we do see it as a high potential zone to look for a strong uh, to look for a short opportunity if we check the strength of this particular zone let's count how many times it has been retested in the past so it's a one two three four and uh, five so yeah it's a, it, it has been retested five times it's a very strong zone now let's talk about uh, indices and indices first of all we are going to talk about s p 500 s p 500 as we can see price is in an uptrend making higher highs and higher lows starting from here we have the high higher low higher high higher low the higher high and then the price broken uh, the price a pull back into the recent broken zone and uh, already got some rejections to the upside so if we talk about the possible trading setups now so if you as price already start like is started bouncing and uh, already made a bounce in the zone so if we find another pullback into the broken zone uh, in this zone and we if we find any kind of indications to go long then we can take a loan otherwise we need to wait otherwise we need to wait for the price to break and close above the previous high and then we can wait for a pullback into the broken zone to go long so these are the two possible scenarios that we can have on s p 500 next we are going to talk about us 30. us 30 again as we can see the price is in an uptrend consistently making higher highs and higher lows starting from here we have the high higher low and uh, high 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 low same high same low and then the price broken close about this series of highs and then pull back into the recent broken zone and already started bouncing so what are the expectations now now if we see another pull back into the broken zone and get some kind of indications to go long so we can go long otherwise we can wait for the price to break out higher uh, above this previous high and then we can wait for a pullback into the broken zone and get some kind of indications or rejections to the upside to go long so these are the two possible scenarios on us 30. next we are going to talk about the cryptos in cryptos first of all we are going to start with bitcoin so bitcoin as you can see right now price is making higher highs and higher lows so starting from here we can see high higher low and higher high higher low higher high and this is the same low and right now the price already broke and closed above the previous high so what are the expectation expectations in this market now now we can wait for the price to push back higher and give us a close there then we can wait for the price to pull back into the recent broken zone and look for any kind of indications or rejections to the upside to go low this is going to be the possible opportunity for the bitcoin next we are going to talk about ethereum and ethereum also as you can see price is making higher highs and higher lows at the moment starting from here we have the high the low which is same high and then we can see price broke and close above this high and this series of highs and then we made a pullback and right now the price is here so what are the expectations now what we can expect what is what are the possible trading setups that we can uh, look for in this market if the price pull back lower into this recent broken zone then we can because here the price didn't uh, pull back completely to the recent broken zone so if we pull back lower without closing about this zone if we pull back lower into the recent broken zone 
without closing abo then we can wait or look for any kind of indications to the upside to go long that can be one setup next setup is we can wait for the price to break and close above this previous high and then we can wait for a pullback into the broken zone to go long these are the two possible scenarios that we can see on ethereum so this was the analysis guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you really did like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video